In this video, let's look at an important Eclipse concept called Views. If you see uh, this arrangement of windows, you'd see a number of views present. One of the views is Package Explorer, one of the views is JUnit, the other view you can see is Task List, Outline, whatever you are seeing here, I mean Problems, Java Doc, Declaration, all these are different Eclipse views. Views are basically something which shows you some information about the code or something about what is the output or it can show the different uh, methods which are present in a class or it can show you the different results uh, when a JUnit is run. So views are basically like small windows like they can, they're like the small windows which show you some information about what is happening with your code. So if you look at uh, windows and go to show view this is where all your views are listed. So this is basically where you can see all the different views available for inside Eclipse. Uh, whatever you are seeing in here are the frequently used. If you want the complete list of views, just click other and there you go. So that's basically the complete list of views which are present in Java. I mean, if you just go to Java, there are different uh, views which are present. Uh, if let's just take a couple of views which are present in here uh, let's take package explorer which is the most frequently used thing the package explorer shows different projects which are present in eclipse i mean in your workspace and it also shows your uh, package structure what are the different folders which are present what are the different java files which are present and also it gives you a high level idea of what are the things which are present in your class path. So here I have the JRE library and JUnit4 in the build path. So it shows what are the uh, files which are present in the build path. So that's uh, about the package explorer. In the package explorer it supports a different view of uh, packages. Right now what we are looking at is called a flat view and there is a hierarchical view where actually we will be able to look at classes in a hierarchy. Uh, since I don't have a lot of packages in here there's no change in what happens when I change it from hierarchical to flat. Uh, if you look at the outline, the outline view shows you uh, the different methods which are present. So there is basically a package and inside the package is a class and there here we have a method. The method name is truncate in first two positions. Uh, each view, if you look at it, can be maximized and minimized. So I can put a view and maximize by either double clicking it or control M that's the keyboard shortcut to uh, maximize and minimize the view so the other things which you'd see uh, as part of the views is let's say I have a compilation error in here let's say instead of doing string length one this becomes a problem and now this is listed as part of your errors so here it shows method length one is undefined so this is uh, called the problems view where it lists all the problems inside the uh, class. Also, it shows something called warnings. The warnings are things which are not good to have. If you look at this, I'm having an import called big decimal, but I'm not using it anywhere. So this is a typical warning and probably I have a integer here, which is not used anywhere. And also a mark here, which is not used everywhere. So if you want to look at all such kind of things, you can go to the problems view problems view is here or you can go to windows show view and select problems from here so it shows the problems view if let's say this was closed I can bring it up by saying windows show view and problems so that brings up problems here and I can arrange wherever I would want it's kind of a drag and drop kind of stuff so you'd be able to pull the problems view and put it anywhere you would want to put it so if I want to put the error log I don't want it here but I won't want to put as part of here you can put the error as part of that also so you can move like each of the views here is customizable so let's say I want I don't want the J unit here I can just drag the J unit and I'm just clicking it dragging it and putting it wherever I would want to have it uh, what are you looking at right now are called views so these views is a very important feature in uh, Eclipse because the entire structure of Eclipse is based on these views uh, like you have a, a, a number of other uh, views which are present like navigator view which is similar to package explorer but it's little different in how it shows the files which are present so 
the navigator view actually shows whatever is present in the file system so it shows the eclipse preferences files class path dot project and everything and you have a number of other views which are present will probably cover all those stuff during further videos this video is part of a series of videos discussing various features in eclipse different shortcuts and also tips to improve your productivity if you like this video show it by clicking like or commenting or sharing this video we are creating more videos on varied range of topics as we speak subscribe to stay updated thanks for watching until next time bye